So hey everybody, today is the official launch of Plasticity 1.0. I'm super excited. It's the culmination of two and a half years of work for me and I'm really proud of where it is. I think uh, it is starting to define a new category in CAD and it's just the start of the journey. So today I wanted to make a quick video on what Plasticity is and what's to come. <laughs> So thank you, Cooper, for making that awesome video. I think one of the most basic questions I get asked is how plasticity differs from Shaper 3D, Fusion 360, Moi 3D, and other CAD programs. And I, we're trying to answer that question in 30 seconds with this video. You know, we focus on interactive tools like interactive Booleans here, for example, or advanced direct editing where we're scaling faces and reapplying the fillets that are features I don't think uh, really exist at least in this form um, in Fusion and in, and in Shaper, for example. We focus on features like this that should feel familiar to um, polygonal modelers where you can do you know, in a facial inset individual to collective and then do a quick offset. You know, we show kit bashing objects on curved surfaces, which is not something you can do in Fusion 360, for example. And we highlight the kinds of artwork that I think plasticity is really optimized for. You know, sci-fi video game assets, um, industrial design and product design. This is an immersion, immersion blender. Um, this incredible car body that Christian modeled uh, using the surfacing tools and plasticity. And then a variety of video game assets that are everything from kind of curved, hel semi-curved helmet-like surfaces to like very uh, angular gun assets and even like very curvy surfacey vehicles, each of which I think represents uh, what plasticity is designed to do and is optimized to do. You know, I don't think there's any CAD program out there that is combining these features in this way. It's literally the world's best geometry kernel, Parasolid, which powers Siemens NX, the most powerful CAD program in the universe, um, designed 100% around an artistic workflow. And I don't know, like simple features uh, like, like this, where you can make a screen space cut on an object, I don't think any other CAD program has that, right? I mean, it exists in ZBrush, but to do it in the context of NURBS is something really new and exciting. And Plasticity 1.0 is the start of the journey to making a bunch of really exciting features. So let's talk a little bit about pricing. Um, I worked really hard uh, to make it possible to have an inexpensive offering with my initial launch. And the indie product is really designed for you if you're a hobbyist and don't have much income. Um, it is such an incredible deal to get access to Parasolid for this price and compared to the cost of any other CAD program. It's really incredible. But I don't make any money off of this, to be honest with you, or I make a tiny amount. If you want to see Plasticity succeed as a company, if you want to see a version 2.0, I strongly encourage you to like support the company by buying the studio version. You know, the way that indie software works is, and, and if you want to see indie software succeed, if you want to see options outside of the monopolistic Autodesk corporate behemoths um, and non-subscription-based software, if you can afford it, please buy the studio product. There are lots of added benefits here, and some of them may appeal to you. I want to focus in particular on these kinds of benefits. Like Plasticity's future is bright. We are creating a new category of CAD software. And if you are in the beta, you can be part of the journey to help shape what 
the software will become. So I probably shouldn't even show this because it's really vaporware, um, but I think it's a good example of like, when I'm building the future of plasticity, you know, there's a lot of ideas that we have to experiment with to figure out, um, you know, what makes sense for the product. And there's a lot of playful ideas, like for example, you know, I, I prototyped a WebSocket based Blender bridge that um, basically streams changes that you make, um, you know, in almost real time, uh, so that you know you can apply materials in Blender or do use cycles to render your plasticity scene or even arrange objects, you know, with different transforms and stuff, um, and still have. Let me just so that we can see this, and still have um, things applied. Now, this isn't yet on the beta, but it will be in the beta in a couple weeks, and it'll take a couple months at least before it makes it into Plasticity 1.2 or 1.3 because um, I have to figure out exactly what I'm building and exactly how I want it to work and make it bug-free. But when you participate in the beta, you get to shape, help me shape this, you know, and, and you get access to it before anyone else. And I think, like, so on that note, I want to say thank you to all the beta testers who've been with me so far. I mean, I've had some beta testers here for two years, I mean, and they've suggested, you know, more than half of the features that are in the app and helped me so much in finding and fixing all the bugs. So thank you again, and and let's do it again. Let's get started. And so I look really, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you make with Plasticity. Thank you.